Hey y'all, today I really wanted to do an unboxing video for you because I never get to do them and because I never get to be on camera and y'all never get to see my face. So, except for monthly many favorites, which I'm excited to do this month. And um, so I wanted to do this and maybe do like a swatch video um, with it. So we're going to be doing this and this is the, sorry for the glare, this is the 22 Formula X for Sephora collection and I do believe this came out in like 2013 but I just received this as a gift from uh, one of my clients so that was really sweet and awesome and so I really wanted to get my hot little hands on them and do a swatch video for you guys with this and what I wanted to do is okay so I'm gonna go and do swatches of these and then insert them into the video and do a little like voiceover for that part <clears throat> so that's how we're gonna do that and so what I wanted to show you guys was also some um, fun news that um, I've known about for kind of like a month, but I couldn't find the magazine and um, my subscription was up, so I had to renew my subscription and then that took forever to send the magazine to me. So it finally just arrived in the mail and so I got it and it is Nail It Mag and it is the January-February issue and inside this little number is my nails right there yay and I'll show y'all close up in a second but um I did these like back in September and um so they're my old long nails that I had before I switched and oh please do not mind my nails right now they are naked mm, I'm so embarrassed to be naked in front of you guys <laughs> But I'm working on a new design today, so I had taken all my polish off and done all the swatches and everything. So, um, that is just exciting news when you find yourself in the magazine. It's just so fun, and tons of people get a chance to be in the magazine. You submit your look, and if they choose you, they put it in. You just have to look. Every, um, every issue, you never get to know. You just have to be surprised and look. So... That was really exciting, and I will be looking through this little thing later today. <laughs> and there's the close-up of my nails in the magazine. I really liked those. That was my first time ever doing tweed nails, and I think they turned out really great. So, that's what I want to do, and we're going to get right into this. Ooh, I love that sound. You guys love that sound? That just means tons of polished bottles are on your way. Let's do this. Let's start with just like the smaller uh, collection pieces. So I'm going to start with like the glitters. And this one is called Wham. And I'm just going to kind of like go like this so you guys can see them. And this is just like a white glitter. It's just a multi white glitter. It looks really pretty. This is just one coat over black. It's really beautiful. I love it. It's perfect in just one coat. And I could imagine this in so many manis. This one is called Bionic. And this one looks like it has some lime green mixed with black. This is also just one coat over yellow and it's a little hard to see the green over this yellow. I thought it would stick out more but the yellow showing up a little green too. So it's a little difficult to see but I really like this one as well. So this one's a black and white glitter. I really like that. These are really cool. They're kind of like splatter, like paint splatter kind of things. This one is called Meteoric, and this is also just one coat over white. I really like this one as well. Up close, you can kind of tell there is a little bit of holographic glitter mixed in with this white and black. It's really beautiful. Oh, this one's a really nice black and blue. Oh, I really like that one. I might be using that soon. This one is called Turbulent, and it is a black and blue multi-glitter, and I really, really love this one a lot. 
I cannot wait to use this one. And then let's go in with the chromes. This one is racy. Oh boy, I look funny. All right, this one's racy. It's like a purple, um, a purple chrome. This one went on really smoothly with just one coat. That is just one coat on my nails. It is very beautiful and it went on really smooth. Rocket Fuel is gray. Maybe I'm going to try that. Um, I've heard really great things about these chrome ones. So I'm excited to try these ones out. This one is actually green. Don't know why I thought it was gray. It looked really gray in my room, but it is very green. And this one was a little bit more streaky, but it's still very pretty. This one is called Vroom, and it's a silver. Again, I don't know what happened to the lighting, but this one is more of a brown silver. It's still kind of silverish, but it's still kind of brown. So it's kind of a taupey silver, I guess. But this went on with one coat as well. And then this one is called Need for Speed. And it's another silver. I don't know, maybe I'm not seeing these right. This one looks like a silver silver, and then this one... The Vroom one, I don't know, maybe you see them together. They look kind of the same, but one has a little bit slightly different tint to it. One's darker, I think. This one is the true silver, and this one is gorgeous. One coat, perfect silver chrome. Absolutely love this one. And then we're going to go ahead and get started with all the like creams and whatnot. And this one is called Flashy. This is a nice red right here. I really like this red. Looks really nice. It's kind of orangey, but um, yeah, it's more of an orangey base, but I still really like that. This is my second favorite out of the whole collection. This red is amazing. This is only two coats. It could use a third one, but it is very beautiful. It's sheer but buildable, and it's just gorgeous. Completely shiny. Love it. Brazen. It's a nice, kind of babyish pink. But this is a nice baby pink cream. And this is two coats. It could probably do okay with one, but I used two just to make sure. And it's just really pretty and nice basic pink. And this one is Eureka. Oh, that kind of reminds me of Eureka's Castle. Eureka's Castle. Did any of y'all watch that when you were little? I did. Oh my god, it was my favorite. I even have some hand puppets. <laughs> Anyways, this is a really nice, kind of like hot pink a little bit. It's kind of like a magenta. A hot magenta, I guess. This is my favorite from the collection. It is a gorgeous hot pink. Like, love it. So shiny. Two coats. Gorgeous. Definitely need this. Then we've got Zap, which is a nice bright yellow. It looks a little bit green on camera, but oh, there we go. It's really yellow. The camera could not capture how yellow this is, but it is like a highlighter. And this is two coats. It could definitely use more coats. And it's got a waxy matte finish. Next one, let's see what this name is. Radioactive. This is a nice lime green. Very hot lime green. Again, the light couldn't capture how bright this is. It's really more lime than this color right here. And this is about two or three coats, and it's also got a waxy matte finish. Mistakeable. This is like a light blue. It's looking a little darker on camera. Or actually, it's kind of like a minty blue. This lighting is weird, but I think it's a little bit minty. It's definitely a mint, but it's kind of like a Tiffany mint. So 
it's just really beautiful and this was about two coats I believe but it really could have probably been okay in one all right and then this one really is a light blue um, infatuated yeah there we go that one's more of a light blue these are all showing up slightly darker on camera but there we go that's it's kind of like that and here we are with the actual light blue which on camera it really looks just like the other one but you can tell this one's a little bit more blue and this was probably two coats as well all right and then we have a dark blue omni it looks like a really nice blue another favorite this blue is amazing this is one coat y'all it is perfect in one coat very smooth creamy perfect blue got a lighter purple which is called indelible that's a nice shade purple's not really my favorite thing but I think this is a really nice shade this is really kind of a dusty lavendery shade and this is really creamy it went on in I believe two coats but probably could have been good in one and then we've got a darker hot purple like this is gorgeous I think I can't wait to put it on haphazard oh it's looking real blue on camera that's the only thing I hate about purples is they start to look real blue on camera but this is like extreme there we go oh yeah there we go real hot purple it this was a disappointment this is three coats it's still sheer it's kind of a waxy matte finish I just didn't end up liking it once it was on the nail definitely disappointed um thrilling is this one a real light gray kind of a taupey light gray this is definitely a nude color it went on in one creamy coat and it's just perfect nude and then this one is a little darker and it's called extraordinary this is a nice dark gray I did two coats I think you probably could get away with one but I did two and it's very creamy and it's just a nice gray it has a little bit of a blue undertone we've got a basic black and white I think and this is called dark matter just black the most absolute perfect black ever this is one coat creamy perfect coverage just shiny absolute perfect black and then white matter is the white very nice white this is two coats just because and it's buildable and it dries really really fast and my swatch ball got a lot bigger today as I added to it with all these polishes if you want to see the original that lacquer loon started you can use the hashtag swatch ball on Instagram okay so that was all 22 colors I hope you guys enjoyed this um, if you like this kind of video where I do swatches and unboxing stuff then thumbs up down below so that I can know and um, I don't always have big pile boxes of polish contrary to popular belief I know behind me it might look like I do but I buy most of my polishes like one here one there one here one there but sometimes I do receive boxes as gifts or from companies or sometimes I will just splurge but you never know but um, when I receive them if you guys do like this kind of video thumbs up so I can know and also if you guys didn't know along with this YouTube channel I do have Instagram Twitter and blogger so you guys can follow me there as well I'll put the links down below so you can follow me there um, most of my manicures do show up here on YouTube I try really hard to do a tutorial on 
every nail look that I do. I just like to do that. I know it's a lot of work and stuff, but I like to do it for you guys and for me. It's fun. So, um, but sometimes I don't have time, so I do have to just post them on my Instagram. But that is where you can follow me on my Instagram and see everything that I do there. So, um, and I post more like personal stuff and my just stuff throughout my day and everything on my Instagram. So you can kind of just all around follow me on there. And then Twitter, it's kind of the same as my Instagram. I just kind of share most of the same stuff. And then um, I also have my blog, which is um, magsdimity.blogspot.com. So I will put all those down below. And my blog is where you can usually see more pictures and a like pictorial of the tutorial for um, all of my manicures. Everything that I do, I try to put on my blog, even if I don't have a tutorial for it on here. I have it on my blog most of the time, um, or at least pictures of it, which is more than what's on Instagram. Sorry, I just shook the camera for a second. Um, so that is that, and I think that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys like my new background. I love it. Everyone else was having a really cute like makeup background for their makeup videos and everything, and um, I liked my white background out, which I did in my living room. <laughs> But I really wanted to have my polish in the background, and so here we are. That's all of my polish right there. I do have, like, f four racks at my shop. Well, one big one and three little metal ones. So there's, like, 200 polishes over at my shop, too. So I don't have a problem, y'all. I don't have a problem. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys enjoy seeing this behind me. I love it, and I know the lighting's a little different in here, but I figured out that AF lock thing on this iPhone thing and so now I don't look like a ghost every two seconds or bringing new things into the shot it still focuses on me and I'm sorry I'm a little bit slow sometimes with technology um but I can usually figure things out so I'm glad I figured that out and I got the lighting all kind of figured out um I might try to fix I have a ceiling fan in here and the light is a little bit um, dark so I might really try to find a new daylight like kind of light bulb for that and hopefully it'll just brighten the whole area for us thanks so much for watching thumbs up if you like this kind of videos and I'll see you all next time bye it is one in the afternoon and I'm still drinking coffee anybody else with me anybody else with me um, I really oh god I don't know what to say uh, I hate it when it's uh, Focus back on me. <laughs> Are y'all a little bit OCD like me? Like, I gotta have everything in color order. I don't know if you could tell my polish back there is all in, like, color order and everything. I just, I don't know, it drives me crazy sometimes. Because sometimes I just wish I could go and move on, but I can't because I gotta sit here and fix this in color order. Oh, of course the phone's gotta be ringing. Ring, ring, ring. <sighs> Go away, nobody's home. Don't these people know we're trying to film here? They're interrupting us. We are trying to film. Okay, thank you. I'm so white, like a little ghost. Ghost, ghost. Ooh, look. Ooh. I don't have a face.